Atlanta, Virginia, just southeast of my hometown of Colonial Heights slash Petersburg. Two technically independent cities that are very much still intertwined. We share a rapid transit system, so, you know, not that it goes anywhere in Colonial Heights other than the mall. But still, but still, I'm a lot more proud to call Petersburg my hometown than Colonial Heights anyway. Uh, we need 460 East, and this road, I don't think this road is 460, no, the 460 is over the light, okay. So left, and then a right. Then we can get back on the highway. We need to get to Interstate 95 North. We're actually going to go right back through my hometown. <laughs> on our way out of here. Which I find highly amusing. But no, we, uh, we just picked up a load of pig offal from Smithfield. Smithfield, Smithfield. Bad shift. Heavy load, bad shift. But yeah, we just picked up a load of pig offal from Smithfield, Smithfield. Uh, you're missing some parts of that container. I guess that's been converted into some kind of hopper trailer. Interesting.
of a cut between from 460 straight to 95, which is designed to avoid all the all the parts of Richmond or uh, all the parts of Petersburg they don't want trucks driving through. <laughs> it goes basically straight into neighborhoods from uh, from the pilot truck stop. So trucks are supposed to use Wagner Road to get to 95. A lot of them don't, but you know, supposed to. Left merge signal, merge onto the highway. Signal off, 10th gear. Cruise control on, let's go ahead and just set 55 because it's about to drop 55 anyway. I'm not going to speed through my hometown. The last thing I want is a speeding ticket at home. <laughs> I mean, if you're trying to place where we are on the map, uh, the easiest way to find where I'm from is to look for Interstate 85 and look at where it ends. Because <laughs> that's here. Uh, this is the northern extent of Interstate 85. It stops right here in Petersburg, Virginia. <laughs> Struggling on this hill a little bit. <laughs> struggling a tiny bit. Gosh, West Virginia is going to be fun if we're struggling here in the uh, Piedmont Tidewater region. <laughs> so the 85 interchange is also where 460 joins up with 95, which is part of why they don't like us truckers coming up here. They prefer trucks to 460 using, uh, to and from 460 use Wagner Road, just because it keeps a little bit of the strain off of this interchange up here. It's not a particularly well-designed interchange. Are you about to jump over there? No? Okay. Because you've got a major, uh, a major, uh, crater road right here in Petersburg. So this is a it's, it's a very high density residential area, so a lot of people use this to get in and out of the neighborhood, so which is why they've got their own slip road for this, in, for this uh, interchange. And then you've also got that feeding straight in to, um, oh, Crater Road 301, I didn't realize that. But yeah, no, it's uh, US 301, which is the major north-south highway in this part of the country. We hit it and it goes all the way down to Tampa is where we picked up 301 before. And that feeds straight into the 95-85 interchange, which is just around this corner. This used to be the uh, Richmond to Petersburg Turnpike. It was a, a toll road back before this was an interstate highway. Five mile an hour uh, right turn there to get to Interstate 85 South from 95 North. That's a bit of a brutal one. Get a lot of truck rollovers there as I was growing up. <laughs> used to be a toll plaza here, I think. That's why that area was so wide and so perfect for the 85 95 interchange. And that's 85 traffic joining us on the right, right here. Maxwell. I would love to move right, but you're sitting in my blind spot here. I am the slowpoke. I would like to say right name. Y'all just gonna keep passing me over there, okay. I guess I'm just stuck here because all the 85 traffic doesn't want to let me move over. I'm just gonna put my turn signal on. Eventually people will get out of my way. Yep, good, cool. There was, uh, there was another person steaming up behind us to pass me, and I got in front of him anyway. He saw my turn signal. Mm. Alright, so this is the, uh, the Appomattox River. Feeds into the James North Pier. And this is my hometown. And in particular, this is the part of my hometown that got hit by a really big tornado when I was a kid. Uh, South Park Mall. Martin Truck 
parking uh, terminal on our left, kind of hidden behind the U-Haul place. There's the mall and all the stores, basically the city's entire new commercial district on the right. That's all built on landfill, so it smells wonderful in, in, on uh, hot summer nights. <laughs> If you ever are passing through Colonial Heights and trying to decide if you want to stop, ask yourself, how hot was it today? <laughs> because the hotter it is during the day, the more this city stinks at night. Because <laughs> it's all landfill. Everything to our right is built on landfill. <sighs> and this is the, uh, the main exit into my hometown. It feeds into the... Uh, the big traffic circle that has been somewhat controversial in my town. It's already taken the, uh, <laughs> it's already taken out one truck. Uh, some guy went into the traffic circle way too fast and rolled over. The roundabout, the rotary. Some people think traffic circles are a really weird way to say that. Like, Sorry, I'm from the mid-Atlantic. Traffic circles, what we do, it's like Allie calls them rotaries and everyone else calls them roundabouts because everyone else is correct. Um, but I've got traffic circles still embedded in my brain. So I call them that a lot. Apparently there is like some difference in a roundabout and a traffic circle at some point. Like roundabouts can have more, more lanes than a traffic circle, which would make the one in my hometown a roundabout uh, and not a traffic circle. But, you know, I don't know. Oh, good, 60 is our new speed limit here. Now we are through my hometown. All right, cool. So uh, routing for today, we're heading to Chicago. So we're gonna go north on 95, west on Virginia Route 288, uh, which is a, a southwest bypass of Richmond that goes up to Interstate 64. We'll take 64 up into the mountains of Virginia to Interstate 81, 81 south a short distance and then pick up 64 again going west through West Virginia. Then in West Virginia, we'll jump on uh, US 35, 35 to Ohio. Then in Ohio, 35 is a beautiful highway all the way to Interstate 75? 71. 75? I forget, but it's we're on a different interstate in Dayton for a short while before we hit Interstate 70. 70 being the important one. 70 will take us west to Indianapolis, and then north on 65 to Chicago. Is it just me, or does it always seem to rain when we're on this road? Because the West Virginia Turnpike, we just passed the town of Pax, West Virginia. Approaching our first toll plaza here. This is a little bit of an experiment because uh, we had to get our right windshield, the passenger side windshield replaced uh, just the other day in Atlanta. And so my uh, my easy pass is no longer mounted on the window. All right, this idiot behind me is right on my bumper. I'm slowing down all the way to 35, dude. with it. Worry about sticking those back to the windshield before we get back to 
field then. They'll work just fine on the dashboard, and then we get the spring field, we can get whatever whatever kits they have for attaching those back to the windshield. What do we do that? Alright, cool. Because yeah, my way station transponder, the pre-pass, that's working just fine. If anything, I like it better where it is now, because I can see the light a lot better. It's not, uh, it's not behind my radio anymore. But, uh, also, the, uh, the camera for the lane departure warning thing is not attached to our windshield anymore, so you might be noticing Maxwell's not, uh, not one for the raspberries at the moment. It's because he cannot see. Poor Maxwell, no eyes, no eyes. Well, he's got eyes, but they're looking inward at the moment. <laughs> so... As far as the truck is concerned, there are no lane lines for Maxwell to see. So he's just, uh, I just hit the button and it stays off. Well, it can't see anything, which is kind of neat. It's interesting that it's got at least some element of, uh, some element of brains to it. Keeping itself turned off while there are no lane lines to, to be seen. And these people that pass on the right with such reckless abandon are frightening because they're the ones who can cause accidents. They just come flying up behind somebody they don't even wait to see if we're going to get over. They just move over and try and pass them. That is dangerous. Now he's going to squeeze in between those two cars. Oh no! We can't see what happened. Did he make it? Did he not? He probably made it. Still can't see. Yeah, he made it. Person behind it backed off. Still rude, very rude. Ah, yeah, West Virginia Turnpike, one of our one of our most frequently traveled routes, uh, due to the fact that I live in Virginia. <laughs> and this is generally the fastest way out of Virginia if you're going west in any direction. And we are this time going to Chicago. So the fastest route to Chicago is through West Virginia. Pretty much in every situation. Yeah, I think there's a, I think there's a way to go north and then west on 70, maybe, but it probably winds up doing 68, I think is the interstate, 66 to 81 to 68 maybe, something like that. I think any, any way you slice it, you wind up cutting through the, like one of the arms of West Virginia that sticks in between the other states. Welcome back, folks. So this, this is US 35. This is new US 35. There's an old US 35. It is off to our east and runs right along the river. Uh, but this is US 35 between 64 and, well, uh, it just kind of ends right up here. I don't know what the intent was with it, but like they clearly meant to extend this highway a bit further. And then they just didn't. So you'll you'll see it up ahead. We're about to get to um, we're about to get to it right at the top of this hill. Let's actually get in the left lane now because there's a guy broken down at the top of the hill, so I can't guarantee the guy behind me is going to let me over if we wait. So steaming up to the top of this hill, and you can you can watch because you'll be able to see where um, they've kind of cleared the right of way to keep this highway going straight, but then the whole highway just like nopes off down a sharp hill to the right and drops down to the river and meets up with the old highway, which is kind of interesting. Are you going to try and pass me now? Cool. Right. So here's the end of the road, and then it's, you know, kind of like meant to continue straight from here through that gap, presumably. Which looks like it's been leveled and stuff, so I don't know what's going on there. But now we gotta slow way the heck down. Because now we're gonna jog to the right. And then we're going down this nice steep hill, because we gotta go back and meet up with the, uh, we gotta go meet the old highway. Old highway is way down here. <laughs> In fact, let's go ahead and keep bringing our speed down.
kind of turning onto the old highway here. And boom, old highway. <laughs> right of way. The river is off to our right. I think that's the Kanoa River. I think. I don't actually know. Oh, neat. That's a really nice truck <laughs> parked there at the house of the trampoline. Euro United. That's a trucking company I've never seen before.
both. Because holy cow. back up. You're going to hit me, man. Hey. I can't back up. There's people behind me. I can't back up. There's people behind me. Is there room in there for me to pass you if you back back in? All right, can you back back in, then I turn in and get around you? Don't go in there. No, I'm, I'm going in there. That's my customer. All right, now what? is up on that uh, overhead bridge thing there. So we gotta turn left, go underneath Interstate 55, then come up on the other side of it. <sighs> so this is actually a really fun little road here we get to turn on to. So let's 
little bit tight, but it's a one-way only, so we can totally do it. There's no light on that pole. <laughs> All right. Hopefully the green arrow's not out. Oh, there's one on the left. Okay, cool. We got a signal we can use. Oh, there's someone illegally parked on the corner. We might have to convince him to move. Left turn arrow? Yeah. Chicago, you win one bonus point. That is one hell of a sunset. 